this video, I want to show you how to change the oil in your vehicle. In this tutorial, I am using an oil container of some sort, some oil, an oil filter, a funnel, some jack stands, a ratchet, as well as a socket that fits the bolt in your oil pan. Helpful are some gloves and some paper towels. Also a floor jack of some sort. First step, make sure your vehicle is in gear and that the e-brake is pulled. Next step, make sure there is something in front and back of the rear tire. Make sure and kick it in so it's firm. This is just a fill safe so it can't roll back and forth. Next, you will need to jack the front of the car up. You will need to find a structural part of the frame that you could put the jack to. This should be in your manual if you're not sure where to put it. In my case, I always put the jack right here at this thick portion. So I'm going to lower the jack and move it in toward the mounting point. Once it's directly under the mounting point, I'm going to slowly start raising it. As it gets close, I'm going to get it a little bit closer. Move it over if you need to to align it. Move it up a tiny bit more. Once it's made contact, make sure that it can't slip off so I can tell that mine's secure. Now just do a few pumps to get it off the suspension. If everything's okay, you can continue to jack it up. Once you've jacked the vehicle up far enough where you can fit underneath of it, you will then need to put the jack stands on each side. The jacking location should also be in your manual. In my case, it's right here. So I'm just going to lift it up as far as it could go. I'm going to do the same for the other side. At this point, what I do is I lower the jack until it's firmly on the jack stands so there's no force on the actual jack. This is just fluid pressure holding this up right now, so I don't like to rely on this to hold it. And I don't want it slipping at the half inch to hit the jack stands. So I'm just going to slowly lower it. I'm going to put a slight preload on this. But most of the force is resting on the jack stands now. Next up, I'm going to loosen the fill lid. This is just to allow air to go in once you drain the oil. Next, it's time to go under the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is position the drain pan directly underneath the oil pan. The oil pan should be fairly obvious to see. It's just a large container at the bottom of the engine, and there should be one large bolt coming out of it. So I have it positioned under the pan now. Now I'm going to get under the vehicle. So I'm going to take my ratchet with the correct size socket, some gloves, and some paper towels. As far as laying on the ground, you could use a crawler like this, or you could use plain cardboard. Also works. Now, laying on my back, I'm going to slide underneath the vehicle. I'm directly underneath the oil pan now. So I'm going to get my ratchet, put it on the drain bolt, and slowly break it loose. Now that I've broken it loose, I'm going to make sure the reservoir is directly underneath it to catch any oil. Then I'm just going to slowly undo the nut until oil starts seeping out. Once it gets close, I like to remove the ratchet and just do it by hand so I don't get oil all over the ratchet. Again, you should be wearing gloves, but it's hard to film with the gloves on, so I'm going to remove it by hand. Keep your hand out from underneath of it and you shouldn't get oil. So now it's about to go out, so I'm just going to remove it real quick. Now the oil's dripping into the container. Now just let this completely drain out. Once the oil has stopped draining, clean off the nut and then reinsert it and tighten it down. This shouldn't take much torque. You don't want to over torque it because it'll be very hard to remove next time. The torque spec for this nut should be in the manual as well. I typically just do about hand tight. So I just get about 10 inches away and just tighten it down with a few tugs and that's typically it. Now it's time to change out the filter. I also keep the container directly underneath it. So the location of your filter will be in the manual, but in my experience it's always at the rear of the engine. In my case it's right here. That's the filter right there. So if this is the first time changing the oil filter yourself, it might be too tight to remove by hand. In that case, you will need to get a filter remover or you just might get lucky and the last person to do it, put it on fairly loose. I'm just gonna reach up and remove it by hand. See, I was able to break it loose fairly easy. These don't need much torque on them to stay on because there's a rubber seal. So as soon as I move it anymore, oil will start gonna leaking out. So it'll probably run down your arm. This is why you need the reservoir directly underneath it. I'm going to put the camera down to do this so I don't get oil everywhere. Once you've removed the old filter, get a little bit of oil and put it around the rubber seal like this. It just needs to be a light layer. Now reinstall the oil filter. Once you get it fairly tight, all you need is one more turn or so, another half turn. And then it's good to go. The compressor from the spring will keep it in place. The filter is installed. It's time to add the oil. So make sure the funnel is clean. Next, remove the lid completely. Set it aside. Place the funnel where it was. Now just slowly start pouring in the oil. Keep an eye in here. You don't want to get it too high. 
and you want to make sure that it's not seeping out the sides accidentally. What I like to do after adding about a quart is check underneath to make sure there aren't any leaks. I don't see anything dripping, so I'm going to add the rest of the oil. The total amount of oil to add will be in your manual. There will be several different numbers. One will be completely dry, one will be a change because it'll account for any oil that's sitting in any spots that won't drain. What I do is put in close to that amount and I start the engine to make sure the oil gets distributed everywhere. It'll also fill the oil filter and the level will drop slightly. I've added about four quarts. I'm gonna check the level right here. As you can see, I'm actually a little high. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine so any oil will fill up the oil filter. It's also good to do another check for leaks while the engine is running. After running the engine for 30 seconds, I'm going to recheck the level. You want to make sure and completely insert it back in before pulling it back out. As you can see, I'm right beneath the full level. So now I'm going to make sure everything is secure. It's all tight. Now I'm going to jack the vehicle back up so all the force is on the jack. With the car raised up, remove both jack stands. Now release the floor jack so the car will lower. Don't forget the wheel chocks on the rear wheel. Now I'm going to do one final check of the oil level. Since the car is raised at an angle, it'll be different than when it's lowered at ground level. As you can see, I'm still at the correct level. Now securely close the hood. If you get any oil on the ground, you could clean it up with the cat litter or a degreaser of some sort. For the used oil, you could put it back in the container that it came in. Then you could return it to a store like Walmart or another retailer that recycles oil. For the oil filter, you could just put it in the original box and then throw it in the trash. And that is how to change the oil and filter in your vehicle. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe.